Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelorette official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Following allegations of being a production plant and circulating dating rumors, Golden Bachelorette star Mark Anderson is now disclosing his relationship status to another Golden Bachelor alum. Throughout the Golden Bachelorette Season 1, Mark, the father of Kelsey Anderson, the winner of The Bachelor Season 28, has been charged with being a producer plant. Many fans wanted to know how Mark became a cast member, even though they knew he was thrilled to be on the show. Although his relationship status has changed. Others questioned whether he was being set up to be the next lead, after spending some time with Kathy Schwartz, a former cast member of The Golden Bachelor, Mark finally disclosed his relationship status with Barbara Allen Woods, star of One Tree Hill. Kathy broke the news by posting a picture on her Instagram with the statement, He isn't mine and this is a fine guy who has found his happy. Loved seeing you so happy with your beautiful lady, was Kathy's response to Mark's comment on the picture, which expressed how glad he was to see Kathy again and connect. After much conjecture about Mark, Kathy's post has clarified that he is in a fulfilling relationship. The Golden Bachelorette alumnus is officially a Taken Man montage of Barbara Woods and Mark Anderson from The Golden Bachelorette with hearts in the background. What Kathy Schwartz says about Mark Anderson's dating status Cesar Garcia created the custom image. Even though Kathy has a reputation for being intense and enjoying gossip, it's obvious that she's thrilled about Mark's new relationship because she posted about it on Instagram. Throughout the year, Contested the former Golden Cast presenter has been delighted to engage with other Bachelor Nation alumni, but her discussions frequently reveal that many people in the Golden side of the franchise are still searching for love. Kathy was able to obtain the information that Bachelor Nation has been clamoring for when she disclosed that Mark is actually seeing Barbara, Mark has been praised as one of the more intriguing men to hit Bachelor Nation in a while. He was originally presented on The Bachelor during Kelsey's hometown date with her now fiancé Joey Grazia Day. He found happiness with Barbara outside of the Golden Bachelorette, despite his failure to find love with Joan during the show. Many were hoping that Mark would be the next Golden Bachelor, but it seems that if he is in a new relationship, the lead can no longer consider him. Mark's exciting new partnership bodes well for Bachelor Nation's future. It's evident that Mark and Barbara have been spending a lot of time together, despite Mark's silence over their relationship status thus far. Since his time on The Golden Bachelorette, Mark, who has five children with his late wife, has experienced a range of emotions, and Barbara seems to be a perfect fit for his busy schedule. Mark's relationship status makes his pain during The Golden Bachelorette much more tolerable, even though it may exclude him from being The Golden Bachelor. Bachelor Nation can undoubtedly cheer for Mark's happiness. Joan Vassos and Chalk Chapel got engaged at the end of the first season of The Golden Bachelorette, but they have no immediate plans to move in together. 61 years old Joan first appeared on television as a competitor on The Golden Bachelor. The Bachelor spin-off was the first unscripted dating program to highlight older citizens' romantic life. Joan had to leave the show early to attend to a family issue despite the fact that her relationship with Jerry Turner, 72, was looking promising. Though it seemed Chalk, to be ended, like Jones, Jones had Pacello. experienced great loss. Prior to their divorce, Chalk and Heather Chapel, who lived in Kansas, were married for 12 years and had two kids together. Chalk met Catherine Elizabeth White Gorey after they separated up, and the two were engaged for nine years until her death in 2022. During the season's filming, Chalk also lost his mother, and he even went away to take care of his family. It was like the time Joan left Jerry's season, yet Chalk hurried to return to Joan as quickly as he could, even though Joan never returned, she stated in a CNN interview shortly after being named the Golden Bachelorette that she would not be hurrying into marriage. She clarified that she believed people should have more time to get to know one another before making such a significant commitment. She informed the interviewer that she was open to being in a long-distance relationship, had no plans to leave Maryland, and didn't plan to get married straight away. The awful conclusion that befell the first Golden Bachelor pair must have influenced her thoughts. Even though she maintained that it wasn't, an engagement also marked the conclusion of season one of The Golden Bachelor. 
Teresa Nist, who is 70 years old, accepted Jerry's proposal. A few weeks after the couple made their romance public, they were married in an extravagant dream wedding that was broadcast on ABC. The couple announced their divorce after just three months of marriage. The long-distance marriage soon failed since they had never lived in the same state. Now that Joan and Chalk are traveling the same path, it's possible that history is repeating itself, aside from the fact that their relationship is long-distance, Joan and Chalk have a difficult path ahead of them, even if it is hard to predict the future. One issue is that Joan hadn't been alone for very long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor, suggesting that she still hasn't moved on from her late husband. Predict the future. Given that he had B. One issue is that Joan hadn't been alone for very long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor, suggesting that she still hasn't moved on from her late husband. Given that he had been engaged for nine years, it is possible that Chalk's divorce made him extremely hesitant to be married. The Golden Bachelorette couple would benefit more from not being in separate states, regardless of their difficulties, aside from the fact that their relationship is long distance, Joan and Chalk have a difficult path ahead of them, even if it is hard to predict the future. One issue is that Joan hadn't been alone for very long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor, suggesting that she still hasn't moved on from her late husband. Given that he had been engaged for nine years, it is possible that Chalk's divorce made him extremely hesitant to be married. The Golden Bachelorette couple would benefit more from not being in separate states, regardless of their difficulties. Aside from the long-distance nature of their relationship. One problem is Joan doesn't seem to be over her late husband yet, as she hadn't been alone long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor. For Chalk's part, the fact that he was in a nine-year-long engagement suggests his divorce could have made him gun-shy about walking down the aisle. Regardless of their challenges, the Golden Bachelorette couple would be better off if they weren't living in different states, though it's impossible to see the future, Joan and Chalk have a tough road ahead of them, aside from the long-distance nature of their relationship. One problem is Joan doesn't seem to be over her late husband yet as she hadn't been alone long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor. For Chalk's part, the fact that he was in a nine-year-long engagement suggests his divorce could have made him gun-shy about walking down the aisle. Regardless of their challenges, the Golden Bachelorette couple would be better off if they weren't living in different states, though it's impossible to see the future, Joan and Chalk have a tough road ahead of them, aside from the long-distance nature of their relationship. One problem is Joan doesn't seem to be over her late husband yet, as she hadn't been alone long before she joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor. For Chalk's part, the fact that he was in a nine-year-long engagement suggests his divorce could have made him gun-shy about walking down the aisle. Regardless of their challenges, The Golden Bachelorette couple would be better off if they weren't living in different states.